Have you ever caught yourself looking at the statistics of a particular footballer or a particular volleyballer or maybe even a race track guy and you're looking at their statistics and you're seeing how much they're doing, you know, the things that they're moving in this world and the records that they're breaking and so on and you get excited about it and you now start anticipating when is the next time he's going to break this record or when is the next time this is going to happen and so on and so forth. You see, at the time that you're getting yourself doing that, when you capture yourself doing that, guess what's going to happen? It means that there is something important about those statistics that you are actually following. That's why we are saying that it is important for you to flip that narrative and start tracking your own numbers. Start looking at your own performance in life in the different departments that I've talked about in the previous episodes. And today we want to close these episodes, this series, by discussing the four or five things that you've got to do or the four or five things that are important why you should be tracking your own numbers and your own statistics. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If you ever saw someone at the individual level who is so particular about their numbers, then you'll know that that person has discovered, quote-unquote, a secret to performance, a secret to productivity. Because numbers will always tell a story and numbers will always govern our lives in terms of performance. And we've been discussing the kinds of numbers that, you know, we, sh- we need to have here and there. And just by looking at other people's numbers tells us a story. By looking at other performers, we look at not what just they do, you know, on average or on general terms, but we look at their performance in terms of numbers. You look at a striker in terms of how many goals that they have scored and, you know, how many minutes between the goals. You look at a goalkeeper and you see how many clean sheets that they have kept or how many saves that they have been able to make in a particular game and so on. We rank people's performances by numbers. That is why it is important for us to rank our own individual performance in life with numbers. If we do not inject numbers into our lives, just end up coasting around in life, doing life as if no big deal and so on. And at the end of the day, I'm afraid we will not know how to exploit our full God-given potential without having numbers to govern our performance, having numbers to govern our existence in life. How am I performing today as an individual? Whether I'm employed or not, whether I've got a job or not, there are numbers, believe me, there are numbers that are ticking away every working day. Whether you are high born, low born, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You have a particular number that is ticking or particular numbers that are ticking away as you live. And that's why it is important for us to come to the level where we download the secret. Let me just call it the secret so that people can take it seriously. Download the secret of having numbers to govern our existence in life. And you can go back to the previous episodes and you can see what we've been talking. What kind of numbers have we been sharing about? We've been talking about numbers in health, numbers in finances, numbers in relationship, numbers in business, numbers in the mind. You know, basically personal numbers that we're looking at. And it doesn't matter what we're doing in life. The numbers are there. And these numbers always speak a story. And that's why I've been discussing and been saying that there are different advantages of having these numbers in place. And one of the advantages, let me just take a small recap. 
One of the advantages of having numbers in your life is that they will compel you to be intentional. If I do not have a number to track today, I will just live my day, you know, like that. If I don't have a number in terms of how many words am I going to write today, how many episodes am I to have by the close of this month, I don't care. I mean, I just live a life like, who cares? And in so doing, guess what? I'm not being intentional. And not being intentional forces me not to become productive and my potential in life just goes wasted. We waste our potential because we are not intentional. We are not intentional because we don't have numbers. And let us have numbers. The second reason as to why we should have numbers is that they keep us in the street and the narrow and they help us to stay on purpose. We're living in a life that is so distracted. I mean, people doing this, people doing that and telling you this is what sells, this is what's now on vogue, this is what's on fashion and so on. And if you're not careful, it's easy for you to veer off your purpose and start pursuing other things because you don't have numbers. You see, purpose is something that is maybe in the distant. Vision is maybe something that is in the distant. But what governs today is the number that contributes at the long run towards the attainment of that vision or of that purpose. The number for today is what speaks. If you don't have the number for today, guess what? It is easy for you to veer off target and to become irrelevant and to start pursuing some other things that you're not supposed to pursue in the first place. And then number three, when you have numbers in place, guess what? They help you to accelerate the attainment of your goals. It is good to have decisions. It is good to have resolutions. But if those decisions and those resolutions are not backed up by numbers, we end up taking a long time to either achieve those resolutions or those decisions or we veer off target at the end of the day or we become just apathetic or we just even forget about the resolutions at the end of the day. The reason as to why very many New Year resolutions do not get fulfilled is because they are not put in terms of numbers. They don't have a number to track and then they don't have a number in terms of a due date and they just end up not being fulfilled. And then we said that It is important for you to have those goals having numbers attached to them. Today in the podcast, I want to conclude this mini-series where we've been talking about numbers, especially at the personal level. If you have numbers, they will do something that is absolutely important to you. And this one is one of the most critical aspects of life, learning to say no you'll be shocked at how good people are and i'm putting good in terms of quotes you know you can be so good that you're so acceptable so welcoming to every tom dick and harry because you don't have your own numbers you don't have anything that compels you time is wasted daily on many things that need your attention because you don't have anything that is governing your life in terms of a number. But when, I tell you, when you know that you have a statistic to hit, when you know you have a score to hit, when you, you, when you know you have a number that is tracking you, you easily learn to say, no, I am not available. No, we can do it on another day. No, I am busy at this moment in time. No, there is something. No, I'm occupied. And you cannot make an excuse for saying no to that. Very many unnecessary meetings, very many unnecessary functions, gatherings, requests that no longer fit your budget, no longer fit your purpose, no longer fit your narrative for the day. You can easily say yes to all these things because you do not have a number and by the way when you do have numbers that governing your life and when you learn to say no you will know by the way one of the ways to know that you really are on track in terms of your productivity is the way people respond to you when you say no they get shocked i mean he's not coming what's what's wrong with him they think that you are coming from a different planet altogether and that just tells you that you are on to something and you cannot get to that level if you do not have a number 
if you do not have a statistic, if you do not have a score, if you do not have a target that you are attaining to achieve. So the numbers in your life, the statistics in your life, they help you to say no to some things. They help you to stay on the, on the right track of productivity. See, learning to say no is a daunting task. It is not easy to say no if you do not have numbers. Actually, the opposite is true. And by the way, we, as, you know, at the human level, we want to please people. We saw people pleasing. And it's okay, it has its place. You know, we are humans, we are social animals. And it's very difficult for you to have the spine to tell people, no, I cannot come, or no, I'm not available, because generally we want to be people pleasing. But let me tell you, the easiest way to do this is to have a number that you're tracking, is to have a score, is to have a target. When that is in place, it becomes a bit easy for you to justify your no. And I know you don't necessarily need to explain the reason as to why you've said no, but at the back of your mind, you're not conflicted. Your heart is at peace. Your mind is at peace because you know there are things of greater importance at the personal level that I am doing. And this is exactly what sports people do. These high performers, they have no. They say no to very many things because they know they've got to perform. I know Les Brown, I've talked about Les Brown in these episodes very many times. He says no to requests to go and, you know, hang out with friends because he knows that he's got to deliver a speech tomorrow, a stellar speech tomorrow. He's keeping his numbers in place. So if you have numbers and if you have statistics at the individual level, they're going to help, to help you to be, have a heightened sense of productivity which is necessitated by you saying no to other requests in life that don't fit your narrative and they don't fit into your, the productivity of your life. So learn to have numbers. Next time you see yourself following the statistics of a particular footballer, following the statistics of a particular business person, the statistics of a particular presidential candidate, the statistics of a country, the statistics of a company. Just let it occur to you at the back of your mind that, hey, guess what? This can also happen in my life and I can start tracking my own numbers and by so doing, I can become a human of productivity and a human who is exploiting his full potential to the core. That is the importance of statistics. That is the importance of numbers. Well, until next time, when we do another series, I hope this one has helped you, has helped you to come to the level of inculcating different kinds of numbers and stats in your life so that you're celebrating other people, but you're also tracking your own statistics in life. Until next time, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor, Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University, found at mastermindmentor.com, who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.